Well, hello there everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Eleanor. Um, welcome back or welcome if you're new here. So in today's video, I am going to be doing some villager homes. Um, so recently I had another villager move out. One that I did not want. I think it was Sprinkles that moved out. And unfortunately, I didn't have time to play it to do a villager hunt. Um, so the plot auto filled to my surprise though it auto filled with Nana I was confused at first because I thought Nana was a deer um, turns out Nana is a monkey so <laughs> my prayers have been slightly answered not gonna lie I was very excited when <laughs> she came in cute she is she's purple and she's a monkey oh my god she's looking she's inspecting the tree um so yeah to my surprise we had a monkey finally move in which i am very excited about so today we are going to be moving her house uh and we're going to be decorating it and yeah come along enjoy the video okay so i'm going to move her to this spot here um, for reference, this is, to the left is Rocco and his little like treehouse area up here. Um, and then to the right, down here is this like the treetop kind of ruins thing that I built. So I thought it, she would fit in quite nicely here. I want to like surround it by trees um, just so she still gets to have that, I don't know monkey vibes you know um so let's see shall we put her here let me imagine it yeah that's cute so i want to have like around the back of it have trees maybe a little space at the front um and then some you know, just more trees further down here uh we will continue this path so let's get into the island designer app yes Okay, um, I want to know, I think I have to destroy this, uh, I actually, I might not have to, let's see. I want to, like, make the path kind of skinny, so I think we just use the plain wooden, not wooden, um, like a plain dirt path. Maybe I can do it like this. And, like, push it right around those two, and then... How does, how, hmm. I'm going to remember how to do this. I think I can do that there. And then I think it's that one to make like a single path. Yeah, cool. So I push it like that. Um, yeah, maybe I will, how does that look? I think that's gonna look this looks kind of weird to me like it's really narrow but that's fine let's kind of um how do i end this off when it's like a single one let's just put another one there that way i can kind of just push it like this and then yeah let's do another one there and then what I can do is I can put this one not there like here and then I can make it end up here like that and then somehow get that to connect down Maybe like that one like that and like that and then that there and then we'll do the plain one in the middle all right cool that's a yeah decent path not too bad and then that'll hook up to the house there um all right i'm gonna go get some trees okay i have a bunch of trees i got a mix of bamboo and cedar trees and then i have some coconuts to plant as well 
Um, let's put a cedar tree there. Like I said, I kind of want to just fill it with trees everywhere, really. Um, make it really, um, yeah, jungly. Kind of like the rest of my island, I guess. <laughs> trees everywhere. That's the theme. Just trees. See where you can put a tree and then, yeah, put it there. Um, we'll put an cedar tree back here. Uh, will one fit here? I don't know, but we'll give it a go. No, okay. Um, that's fine. We'll put maybe a bamboo tree back here. Um, where else? Can I put like a cedar tree here? Is it because it's too close to the house? Yeah, okay. Um, but can I put one like here? No, is that the same spot? That is probably the same spot. Maybe here? Yes, and I'll just dig that up because you can't see it. Um, we'll do another bamboo tree here. Uh, and maybe another cedar tree here. Um, and then another bamboo tree here. Honestly, it's just trees everywhere. Will one go that close? Yes, it can. Perfect. Cool. And then I have one more. So one can go here as well. All right, cool. That is a good amount of those trees there. I need to clean up those flowers down the bottom. So what do I have? I want to plant some of these coconut trees. So I need some sand. Let's put, say, one there. One there. They will fit there, right? We'll do one in the middle here. Let's see how those go. Um, obviously we won't know until they're fully grown, but that's fine. We'll just pop them around for now and see if they kind of do grow into it. Let's put another one there. Because that'll fill out the space quite nicely, I think. And another one there. And then maybe one down here. Like here. Sure. Yeah. Right there. Okay, cool. I'll leave that and I kind of want to do, I saw this thing where people put um, these. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't go in the tree trunk, but it still looks cute there. Um, but yeah, kind of like around tree trunks. Whoops, didn't mean to eat one. I like these mushrooms on the ground. I think they look really cute. Um, hey, what else? Uh, I want to clean up these flowers a little bit. I'm not sure how far I want to extend this down. I might finish it about there and then see how that looks. But I really want to, in this sort of maybe space here, put like a seating area. So, um, maybe one of these chairs. Uh, maybe I'll do it like sideways and have the, like the bench there as a second one. Like the, um, you know, is that, it's kind of like a second chair. Does that make sense? Uh, we'll pop that there. And then, I, yeah, I just want it to be all like, mi um, mismatched. So, what else? I had this tea that I kind of want to put there. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Um... Then I had this like greenhouse box that I thought could be cute to be like she's got like a little um, kind of like she col not collects um, but she's like a gardener and you know she has all this like gardening stuff around she's got um, little pots here and there stuff like that. What else do I have? What else did I grab? 
Ooh, the pink tulip. I thought the pink would be nice to kind of suit her aesthetic because she is pink. Um, we'll put a... I had a garden lantern. Maybe like right here on the corner. That's cute. And then I had this mountain bike that I wanted to put next to her house as well. Um, keeping this all like pretty pretty minimal um, nothing too crazy I wanted to put this pumpkin here let me push it down and I wanted to see if I could put some of these mushrooms on top of it yes oh that's super cute look at that oh I love that awesome okay what else do I have we have some glowing moss to put around here and there um, I've also got some bushes as well so let's plant a couple of those around we'll put one here where are they plant one there oh actually that might not grow with the tree all right hold on we'll put it down here instead i've just got these white plumerias i think that's what they're called put one there um i might put one around the side here as well just pop one in there. I'm gonna fill this with flowers as well. Can I go back around this way? Yes, okay. Put one on the edge here. And maybe one next to this tree here. And will one fit here? Hmm, actually. I think I like it there. What I might do is put some fences throughout here. So put one here. Kind of just to tie into um, like flow on through that side. Uh, pop some like right on the water here. I need to fill out this back area more. I'm not sure what to kind of put back here but we might just fence that off a little bit and then we'll put some more fencing back here uh, I think that's all the fencing I'll put back there for now oh god I'm stuck okay back through here uh, so essentially you know you're coming down this way you can either go down here towards up there or you can go right here keep going down and then you'll get to Nana's house um, all right, I'm going to get some flowers. Okay, I have some flowers, so I'm just going to kind of sprinkle them in here and there. I just grabbed white flowers because I feel like that would match her home a bit, bit better than um, some of the other colors. I've been mainly using blue and uh, black throughout the island, but I don't mind... Um, Oh, I mean, I obviously pepper in some white as well, but those are the kind of the main color schemes. I like the little pop of pink there, though, just to make it a little bit different, you know? All right, and then down here, I really want to add, like, kind of a secret path um, to go down to the bridge below. So, um, I'm not quite sure which pathing. I might use this pathing here, just kind of, like... push it down like here just to make it look like um, you know there's like a secret path towards that bridge which will lead to obviously the um, the other side of the island up there and then maybe I'll fill in with some of this just to make it more full and like connect the areas because it's always hard to connect um, the different areas you know I think um, that looks cute I might do another one here just to make it a little bit more full and that will kind of lead into there and then can I put some weeds along here or something yes that's cute and then I'll grab another mushroom, put that in between so it's kind of like it's growing, you know, from in between all the little spots. We'll do one here 
and then I'll connect it with the other half. Um, we'll put a flower here. And that'll kind of lead over to this area here. Alright, cool. I That looks good. I want to do another one of those here. And just connect it a bit better. Awesome! Oh, that's looking super cute. What else can I kind of put around here? Um, we will put maybe another bush here. Um, I need some more, like, make can another coconut tree fit here. Maybe. Let's have a look. Not that one. I mean, I'll, I'll only find out when it's when it starts to grow, but it should fit here. I don't see why it wouldn't. That's not where I wanted to dig. Okay, and then we'll just kind of put a bunch of weeds everywhere. There. Okay. Now, I need to get rid of these flowers. I've cleared up that area. I'm, I'm not sure what to put down here for now, so I think I'll just leave it blank. But let's put just some random custom paths everywhere because they really do make the difference. Okay, I think that's looking good. I'm going to jump ahead to move her in um, or to move her splat and to grow a couple of the trees and then let's see how that turns out. Oh no, we got eggs. That's okay. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. Okay, cool. The palm trees are growing in and we've got her house moved in. There's just a couple other things I want to place around. I want to put that... I wanted it on there, but I don't think I'll be able to, so I might have to get rid of that stump. Because it's just not going to go. So, we'll put the planter there. And then next to... I wonder if I can squeeze it in there. I want to put this here. No. Okay, that won't fit. Where can I put it? Oh, I know. Okay, down here. All right, and I think that's it. So we've popped our home in here. So as you know before, you come down here. You can either go down here towards uh, Rocco's home, or if you keep going straight, you can come down here. We've got it all kind of a thin path right up to Nana's house, which kind of blends in quite nicely. Um, and then you can come down further and that'll take you to this little bridge here. And then there's Nana. She is super cute. I absolutely love her. She calls me Popo. I think that's adorable. Um, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for checking it out. It's just a quick little build on my island. Um, there's not much left to do on my island, which will be... Um, it's kind of exciting, you know, finishing up an island. Um, also kind of daunting because you're like, I don't know what to do next. But we'll see. If you enjoyed it, please like this video. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.